Aloha. And we are here at Poe Gallery to meet my darling, dear friend, Sandy Poe. Aloha, Sandy. Hi. It's so fun to see you again. It's yeah. Tell us, tell us about the gallery. About how long have you been here in the gallery, in the uh, in total galleries? Oh, uh, in this neighborhood, I've been in uh, maybe about fifteen years. I was on Fort Street Mall, Smith Street, Nuano, and now I'm on Bethel Street. I love it. Every time I've moved, I've moved to a better location. So I'm really happy. Now, tell us. The name is Louis Poe. Mm -hmm. So who was Louis Poe? Well, Louis was my second husband. I was his second wife. So we learned from each, you know, we learned from our first marriage. So we, it was a really good marriage. Um, Louis came to Hawaii in 1942. It was at the start of the, uh, World War II. He told his, uh, the recruiting officer that he was a painter. And so they shipped him over to Hawaii and he painted ships. You know, he refurbished the ships. I don't think that's quite the word. But anyway, that's what he did for a living until he got medically discharged. He, the first uh, chance he got to come back to Hawaii, he grabbed, and it was to start the Honolulu Art Academy Art School um, in 1945. He and his friends started it, and so they taught a lot of artists, um, well-known artists today in Hawaii. Um, and they kind of were, uh, he and his friend were kind of the, uh, put a stamp, their stamp on the measure of what Hawaii art is all about um, today. Uh, yeah, because they were at the Art Academy for 35 years. So that's a, a really long time of just teaching and influencing people to, to do art. He thought that everybody could do art. Yeah, everybody was creative. And that Hawaii had the best artists ever, you know, nationwide, we, um, because we're influenced by the world, and so the, the artwork reflects that. Yeah. So, uh, can we walk over here real quick and just take a look? This is Lewis, is that correct? Yeah, that was my husband. Yeah, he was a pretty cool guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he went, out, he went down to his studio every single day to paint. And it was kind of nice because, like, you know, he could go in his shorts, you know, and, uh, and paint. So he painted every day. He painted, he had at least five oils going at a time. Um, and he did watercolors. Um, he didn't do acrylics. He did a lot of other uh, printmaking. He was a printmaker. Uh, that was his favorite thing to do. And that's pretty much what he's famous for. So um, you have been, you're the widow. Mm -hmm. And so you've carried on all of these years? Yeah, right. So he's been gone uh, 1999, so 18 years he's been gone. And so um, I, he wanted to be world famous. And so my, my mission, since he's been gone, is to try and see if, how I can promote that so that he could actually be um, among the greats of American art. So we have lots of artists from lots of different places. So all of these are, are different artists? Um, so we represent about 10 different artists. Uh, they, all, they all live in Hawaii. They have to live in Hawaii to be eligible to show in the gallery. And so this is um, oils, watercolors, um, acrylics, printmaking. I, Louis liked art, and he absolutely loved um, abstract art, really good abstract art. And so that's what we kind of rep we try to represent here. Now, um, real quick, mm -hmm. tell us about you, the Arts District Merchants Association, and all of the other things you've done since you've been in Chinatown. Oh my God! In the last um, 15 years, we've been. We've done a lot of street festivals. When, we, when I first came into the, uh, this neighborhood to open the, the gallery, people were so afraid to come downtown, you know, because it, it was a red light district. From, from World War II days, um, that was what it was known for, was uh, brothels and, and, you know, drunks on the street. And so it, times have changed, but people's perception didn't change. So what we did was, you and I, we 
put we helped put on a lot of street festivals and it was really fun um, and people started to come and now you know it's not unusual for people to come they come at like nine o'clock at night and they stay till two in the morning way past my bedtime but but it's 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 the safest place to come and and have a drink eat dinner you know um, catch some good entertainment and sometimes galleries are open um, for, on first Fridays the galleries are open and so it's really a fun night to just walk around and look at art and just meet up with people you know 